Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today we are taking a look at the final of the Power Rangers Metallic Armors from the Lightning Collection. And this is the Mighty Morphin Metallic Black Ranger figure. So, uh, probably a big fan favorite one here, of course being Adam and such like that. And I think this one turned out pretty nicely. I, I like how this one is. Uh, well, really all of them I think have turned out pretty nicely. And if you'd like to see my videos on the other three, uh, they are currently up on the channel right now, as this is the last one. And also, uh, Metallic Armor Pink has been up there for over a year. <laughs> so, there's that, and uh, we don't have white yet. So, yep, here it is, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Black Ranger Metallic Armor. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same as any of the other ones have been. Uh, you know, this is a pretty repetitive process. It's all going to virtually be the same kind of thing. Uh, just with the ranger color that's different and obviously the character and a tiny bit of the accessories but of course you have the metallic kind of glittery pattern on the black ranger helmet there which i think is pretty nice uh, when it doesn't flake all over your hands which it does uh, if you are uh, rubbing it enough <laughs> but just don't like scratch at it and you'll be fine so there is the uh, side of it and the other side of it and of course that continues onto the top and such like that uh, the back of it though uh, you have this kind of render going on here and uh, you can see that there's no visor paint on this render here. And uh, there's no visor paint on the, hel on the actual helmet either. Uh, so we'll take a look at that uh, when we open it up here. Uh, but, you know, pretty standard power axe and the blast effect and everything that we've had with many other power axes in the past. Uh, so nothing too crazy there. So let's go ahead and pop it open and take a look at it in more detail. All right, so here's Adam out of the box, and I gotta say, I noticed something very weird about this figure uh, in terms of his accessories that I did not notice before. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. So first of all, here is the figure itself. Uh, let's take a look at it in more detail, uh, starting out with that helmet. So yes, there is no paint on the tusk of the Mastodon, and there's no trim around the visor. So this is kind of a point of contention here. Uh, originally when we saw this, people just thought that was straight up wrong. Uh, but looking at screenshots from Mighty Morphin Season 3, it does look like certain angles of the metallic suit don't have those details that are on the regular one. I don't know why, but you can see on the regular MMPR black figure the details that are not there on the helmet. Uh, but I don't think it looks bad. Uh, it definitely is a different kind of helmet sculpt though. You can see the visor is most certainly a different shape and that tusk is definitely a different shape on the side. So they definitely remolded the helmets uh, from the, at least on this one for sure. Uh, from the older version so not only did they remove that paint which like i said might be accurate might not be depending on the kind of screenshots or the angle that you're looking at uh, but they definitely did remold it regardless uh, but yeah for the most part they're also look at that they did paint the uh, morpher uh the red circle trim on there that was missing from the wave six original mighty morphin black so hey there's that <laughs> but uh, this one i think looks pretty cool it's almost it almost gives it kind of like a gray look to me uh, with the kind of like the way that the you know shimmer on the glitter uh, kind of you know does that effect and also with like the kind of crystal kind of pattern on the uh the boots and on the gloves and everything it kind of just makes it it's just i think it works well with the, with the black ranger suit you know what i mean with that kind of marbleization and stuff like that i really dig it so i mean that's pretty much it with the figure i mean there's nothing super super crazy going on here if we take a look at his accessories this is what i was going to talk about that was weird so he comes with the power axe right and I don't know if, I wonder if any of you have noticed it yet, because uh, it's caught my eye, like, right away. I'm going to just give you a second. Just stare at it and see if you notice anything that is off compared to older versions of it. Why now do they paint the handle yellow? <laughs> the little handle for the gun mode right there. Right there by the coin. Not painted there. I've checked every other version of it that I have. I checked the Walgreens Armored Black Ranger. I checked the one that came with the Armored Red Ranger from the Comic-Con set. This is the one that came with my Mighty Morphin Black figure, uh, like the Wave 6 one. This is the first time, so this is the fourth time I've gotten this axe and the first time they've painted that yellow. So either that's just a weird mistake on mine or they just consciously, yeah, it's painted on the other side. They consciously decided to paint that yellow now. At least I'll always know which axe belong to this version specifically. That's just such a strange thing to start doing now. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not making it out to be like a complaint. I'm just I'm just confused by that, to be honest with you. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but it is the same mold. It's still going to be able to do both modes. Uh, so the gun mode and the axe mode, it comes in the gun mode. Uh, so no, it doesn't. Well, wait. Yeah, this is the gun mode. It comes in the gun mode. And of course, you can make it into the axe mode. You can combine it with the other power weapons and everything, of course. Uh, of course... Look at that, it's the Blade Blaster. 
I'm recording all of these videos like back to back to back. So the, like the longer it goes, the more crazy I get. <laughs> so here is the Blade Blaster uh, for the millionth time. Uh, you get this effect piece, which they love this effect piece. They love giving this to any version, basically, of MMPR Black that they can. So we got it in a light blue with the Walgreens Armored Black in 2019. Uh, we got it in red with the Wave 6 Regular Black. And now we have it here in a much lighter blue than the Walgreens one. It's like almost clear, but it still has like a blue tint to it. Uh, so of course that just pegs in uh, to the back or to the gun mode of the barrel of the Power Axe. And that's all it's good for. Uh, but I mean, it's good for like a Power Blast uh, for like when you have all the weapons combined, but like you can't clip it into anything else is what I mean by that. So there's that. Now... Another strange thing about this guy, so MMPR Red and Blue, uh, the metallic armors that we took a look at yesterday, their swappable hands are just generic fists, and I totally thought the Adams would be the same, but they're not. Uh, he gets holding hands, or not really, they're like splayed open hands, and I think they're actually new. I don't think we've had these hands before. So that's interesting, they're like splayed open uh, hands that maybe are good for holding like, the Zeo Crystal or something maybe, but uh, that's just a strange decision. I didn't think that he would have special hands compared to everybody else. Uh, speaking of the Zeo Crystal, he gets his own, which is the Green Ranger uh, Zeo Crystal with the rectangle on there. So it has like this kind of weird shape. Uh, kind of looks like an L or something if you turn it that way. So that's interesting. Uh, so there is that. Of course, just a rectangle. And uh, that's the final one of the Zeo Crystals that we've needed. Because uh, we have all five Zeo Crystals now. Even though we don't have a Metallic Tommy, uh, we have all five Crystals. We just don't have a way to combine them or anything like that so and the final thing he has is the atom head uh which if you have the zeo green figure from wave eight uh, you're gonna be pretty familiar with that atom head because uh, it is the same one <laughs> so or at least i'm pretty confident that it virtually is the same one so let me go ahead and attach that to the metallic black figure i definitely don't have that all the way down on the neck joint there but there is the zeo green head on the original black ranger and the metallic one and besides, maybe, like, the paint on the skin tone? Sculpting-wise, these have to be the same thing, right? <laughs> I'm not seeing much of any difference on them whatsoever. Pretty sure they're the same, and that's fine. Because uh, the Adam head was already a really good one, and I don't think they really needed to do a new sculpt of it. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, the, uh, the new Adam head sculpt, which, like I said, is probably just the same as the old one, except for maybe some paint. Uh, color differentiations but uh yeah still looks good i think it's still a really good head when we got it back in wave eight and uh it's still the same like that here and there we go a year in the making we have the complete well as of right now <laughs> mighty morphin metallic armor team from season three so we have you know the main core members of the mighty morphin team now there should be a metallic white ranger it's a thing that happened in the show but it's yet to happen in lightning collection form just yet but i imagine they would probably happen hopefully soon so, yep, we have these four brand new ones that we just take a look at, and the Metallic Pink, which came out last year, and I do, I do believe you can still get her. Uh, but you can definitely see kind of the shading difference on her compared to the rest of the four. These four match. She does not really as much, uh, but they, you know, from a distance and everything, especially if you have them in a more better pose than I have here, uh, I don't think it's going to be super, super noticeable. Uh, but yeah, that is it, really, uh, for the Metallic Armor set so far, and I, I hope we can fully, fully complete it, uh, hopefully soon, but for now... At least Pink is no longer on her own. Uh, we have at least a core member, a core team. And this looks really good. I, I think that, you know, having them in person, the metallic effect just really works for these guys. And uh, it's definitely an effect that I've grown to really appreciate. And uh, I highly recommend them. So go ahead and pick up a set if you would like them. Well, that worked a lot better than I thought that it would. Check that out. So <laughs> turning all the lights off, and me trying to climb over here without knocking over everything, uh, we have all five of the Power Rangers Zeo Crystals uh, that actually do glow in the dark. So yeah, that effect worked a lot better than I thought it would. Obviously this camera quality is gonna make this look like absolute poop, I'm sure, with no lights on. Uh, but yeah, that's all five of them. I'm glad that they kept that up. Uh, I don't really know why they can glow in the dark, but cool. <laughs> and it's cool to get a full set of the Zeo Crystals like this. So yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for my review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Metallic Armor Black Ranger figure, and also completing the core five members of the Metallic Armor team. So I will leave a link in the description below to the Metallic Black Ranger, and be sure to check out my reviews on all the other Metallic Armor figures uh, over on, you know, Toku Topics YouTube channel. I've taken a look at the, the newest four here over the last, uh, you know, today and yesterday, 
in uh, pink like a year ago. So this was fun. Uh, I think this is a pretty good set of figures. I can see why people would maybe want to skip on them. Uh, they are $26.99 compared to like the typical uh, $19.99 slash $22.99 price point the Lightning Collection is now. So I get why people might be hesitant on that, do a that front um, and such like that. Or you just have the original Mighty Morphin team and you don't really care to have them like this. I totally get it. But I think this is a good set of figures. I think black is totally a good one as well. And uh, I highly recommend all of them. So thank you all for watching all of these videos. And of course, until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all next time.